everybody, my name is Jonah Davis. This is Uncle Manny Halicon. Hello. And we are here just hanging out and we're gonna be talking about some Kinard ukuleles today. Uh, beautiful ukuleles. Um, so we're gonna talk about playability. Um, for, you know, as a musician, I really enjoy the touch and the feel and the solid uh, feeling of this ukulele. Um, sounds amazing. Uncle Manny, like, what do you like about these kinars? And you're playing a baritone, yeah? A baritone, yeah. And then the, this is the first time I'm playing the, the Heidi oh. uh, version. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, plus, this, this maple uh, body has a lot of volume coming yeah. out of this. Uh, unheard of for... Uh, Baritones. Yeah, yeah, very much, very much. Yeah. It's very pronounced. The vo the voice on these instruments are like really amazing. Um, even on this one, this is a tenor, uh, extended long neck, mm -hmm. right? Um, so it's crazy. Like the attack, it's so crisp, so clear, so clean. Um, you know that you can actually hit and just make real punchy sounds with this ukulele. Mm -hmm. You know, so playability wise, like the action is perfect. You know, just the overall feel of the build, so solid in the hands, you know, uh, it feels good when you're trying to play. Um, the only thing is, it's just for me, it's just super pretty. <laughs> So you just don't want to you just don't want to mess it up you know what i mean um but baritones like knowing that it's such a a bigger broader instrument yeah so when you look at the width it's much heavier uh on the body what width wise it's very much wider but it feels really good if you're not a guitar player this would be the best thing especially as an ukulele player um considering that it's uh lower strings you know it allows you to go further and farther uh, lower in the notes in the registry that a high G necessarily won't allow you to do. So which is amazing. Um, and on this guy, look at that. That's super pretty, yeah? But yeah, this inlays, the just overall, just feels really good on the body. Like in the sound port, the sound coming right here, it makes such a big difference uh, as a player listening to it. But yeah, gorgeous. Kenard ukuleles. Uncle Manny, you like Jamun song? Okay, yeah, how about we do um, Aloha Ia Wainai? Aloha Ia Wainai. You from Wainai, Uncle? Yeah. <laughs> Just before Wainai. <laughs> West Side. Yo, West Side, West Side, West Side. <laughs> West Side right. is the best side. <laughs> West Side is definitely the best side. Okay, here we go. Okay. That was a wrong song. We're just checking if you knew the song. That's that was a test. That was okay. a test. We're that going again. <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. Okay, that's the one, that's the <laughs> one. That's the one. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
man. Nai. <laughs> uh, he, yeah, he's from Wainai. <laughs> Just kidding. West but, uh, side. West side is definitely the best side. <laughs> Can't right. tell we don't do this all the time. Uh, yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. We're gonna but get it's through. fun though. I'm having fun. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle, can you tell me about the build? What is so different between, for example, the build of a baritone versus a tenor? Um, the baritone, obviously, is a bigger ukulele. Uh -huh. it is, it's uh, the structural part of the baritone versus the, the tenor. Uh, to me, my point of view, no, not much difference. Ah. Um, the, the interior structure, the tone bars, it, it's all up to the builder. But uh, brace-wise for strength, uh, I don't think uh, there's much difference ah. in the way you uh, strengthen. Um, but the different woods you use obviously has different strength density quality. Uh -huh. So um, as a builder, you, you pick the woods you use and you pick the bracing you use. So um, this particular ukulele has a spruce top and all maple uh, back and sides, maple neck um, and an ebony fretboard and bridge. Um, Kinard, I consider Kinard one of the higher end models. Um, clean work, uh, great sound. Uh -huh. um, you, you just look overall; it's just a clean, clean uh, build. The the luthier John Kinard uh, takes a lot of pride in, uh, in his instruments. Yeah, totally. Like this I is the first it. time yeah. I've ever played a Kinard. Um, and just touching it, just just the feel of holding it, it's very different than a lot of the ukuleles that I've ever played before. It has a nice weight to it yes. and a nice ring to it. Exactly. Yeah. It's not too heavy, but it's not soft. It's really solid. You know, there's a difference between um, quality instruments and those that's not as good, I guess. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a nice way to put it, right? But, you know, there's a, there's a definitely uh, a different feel when it comes to a quality instrument. Yeah, yeah, and and you can you can uh, you can feel it when you grab it and you play it. Uh, mm -hmm. The difference between uh, yeah, because I was thinking because it's a baritone, I was thinking that it needs more in terms of bracing, you know, because of the larger size. That's what I thought, but I My, was wrong. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> this is a personal to me. I don't think it it needs to be any uh, yeah. braced any differently. Yeah. Um, some some luthiers tend to do it with a steel string setup yes right maybe uh, the, that you take into consideration uh the pull of the the steel string maybe a little beefier uh yeah bracing on the inside but, definitely in order to hold yeah because yeah, the tension is higher yeah, yeah. So, awesome right on. yeah so this is all maple model mm -hmm. nice uh sound real bright and and Strong projection. What about this and one? This is a uh, eighteen inch scale um, tenor, uh, spruce top, all cocobolo back and side. Uh, um, workmanship is outstanding. Uh -huh. um, that inlay in the back, in the back of the neck is yeah, super pretty. He got them on both of them. Yeah. Uh, His binding is super nice. Very clean. Yeah, Kinnard, uh, John Kinnard uh, builds excellent instruments. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right. Okay, one, one more time. One, one more time, one more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> what's, what's, uh, what's your like jam? Kelo. Kelo? Yeah. Okay. okay. Now we Sounds go again.
Hello guys. Aloha. Aloha. 